वेलकम टू डी सी एल रेडियो यू आर लिजनिंग टू डी सी एल टॉक शो ओके द स्पेशल अबाउट दिस वीक इज प्रॉबली टॉक ऑफ द टाउन दिस इज आई मीन अबाउट राहुल चन्ना हिटिंग दोज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व रन अगेंस्ट अगेंस्ट अ बीस्ट ग्लेडिएटर्स एंड दट टू चेजिंग ए मैमूथ टोटल द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट दिस वन इज दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेंचुरी इन डी सी एल वाइल चेजिंग ऑल दीज इयर्स वट एवर सेंचुरीज दैट वी हैव और batting first this is the first time somebody scored uh, a century while scoring while uh, chasing at the same time uh, the the best part is that has come in 25th year of the dcl okay that's that's a great thing to talk about tonight <clears throat> and also um, before i go to analyst uh, so we have rahul channa joining um, uh very soon soon in the sense um, after um uh, initially i'll give a little update on corporate cup and then uh, we will talk about the games while talking about the games i'll bring in rahul channa uh, uh to get some uh, you know to pick his brain about that game and then uh, after that we will discuss about impact players in knockout and playoff predictions for playoff predictions uh, tai four Tai four will be joining tonight with us. Okay, with that, I'll uh, quickly go to um, our uh, our analyst, introduce them, and give a quick update on um, DCL Corporate Cup. Okay, welcome to the show, Imti. Thanks again, and I'd like to welcome all our listeners uh, to yet another uh, episode of the DCL Talk Show. Again, uh, what what a week we have uh, witnessed, and I think uh, one of the best uh, uh, game performances. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm very excited uh, for this uh, episode and to talk more about it. And uh, welcome to my uh, fellow analyst Abhishek. And uh, uh, I would also like to give a warm welcome to Rahul Sharma and uh, Tai for when they join the show. So we'll we'll talk in more detail, but I'm very much excited for the show. Okay, welcome to the show, Abhi. Thank you, Jagan. Um, welcome to all the listeners uh, to the DCL show, and welcome Inti as well. Um, the Silver Jubilee season is done with the league stage, which is three fourths of the season, and all the teams have participated hard to somehow get to the soft top sixteen. While few teams have convincingly reached here, sitting on the top, when few of them just made it, and such is the competition. Um, but it doesn't matter how you reach; there's only one way forward now. Uh, to the teams who have been qualified, well, it's a, it's it's always heartbreaking to have the thought that the season is done. But a few of the teams, especially with the new teams who have participated, they've did they've done very well. They've started well, uh, they played well, but they they lack that experience or that X factor, to, you know, to get here. But it's never over. There's always next season, and I believe uh, Jagan, you did mention that the contenders' trophies are on the corner as well. So yes. the battle there begins there too. And uh, we hope uh, all the teams come in with full force and for the contenders as well. A long intro today, but let's get into the details of today's show. Over to you, Jagan. Okay. And uh, before we get into uh, DCL uh, knockouts and uh, impact games from the last week, I'll just I just would like to give a quick update on uh, Cor- DCL Corporate Cup. Um, five teams played in DCL Corporate Cup, and three three teams out of which are made to knockouts. Uh, the top team will go to finals, which is Ford. It already uh, already in the finals, winning all uh, all their games. And these next best two two teams are right now fighting out uh, for the um, next spot in the finals. And um, uh, Stellantis, which is um, you know Chrysler, um, they scored 99 in 20 overs. And BCBSM is chasing right now. They are 23 for two. uh at the end of seven overs and um, at the crease satish bellam konda and um, and uh, abhishek penmesha they are you know playing well right now but uh, bcbsm lost two quick wickets to our fellow analyst uh, jasneet singh with that i'll quickly get into the impact games okay when i say impact games these are the games that changed which we i mean we never thought will happen uh last week and these are all the games that changed the ranking of um of uh, playoffs okay i'll start with the first game the first game that that had some impact on um, uh, uh today's discussion is fcc versus patriots abi your th- sorry uh, indus versus dynamites uh, imti your thoughts 
Uh, thanks again. <clears throat> again, uh, just shortlisting some of the games here. I think we we would like to focus on these games, which uh, were kind of uh, I would I would regard them as upsets, to be honest. And uh, these kind of had a huge impact on the on the outcome of the playoff rankings. Whereas uh, all the games definitely had uh, some impact in in one way or the other. But like Jagan mentioned, like there are these five six games that we will talk about today. That had major impact and changed the rankings uh, uh, drastically. So the first in the lineup is Indus versus Dynamics. I think this game, uh, according to our predictions last week, uh, we all uh, uh, predicted that Indus would win this game. Probably a bonus point here and there, but then uh, to all our surprise, I think uh, Dynamics just took it away from Indus Thunders. So if you go into the details of the game, I think Indus Thunders, uh, who batted first, scored 91 in their uh, allotted overs. They lost all the 10 wickets. And if you look at the batting. Uh, uh, Praveen Bangar in the top, scoring those uh, steady runs, 27 he scored. And then in the middle order, Manoj and Abhi, our fellow analyst, uh, who stayed there for a while and built a partnership. But again, uh, if we if we just look at uh, Indus Thunder's credentials, I think 91 is a below par score. Especially considering the fact that they're going into the playoffs in the next week and a high score uh, would definitely have boosted their confidence. Again, 91 nevertheless is not a less score, but again... Uh, uh, with their credentials, I thought that was below par. Uh, uh, and again, taking nothing away from the Dynamics bowling lineup, I think they have really peaked well uh, uh, just heading into the playoffs. Amrit Yadav, pick of the bowlers, who picked five wickets in his allotted quota of five overs uh, and uh, the 16 runs. And well supported by Arun Salvaj on the top, picking two more wickets. So I think uh, uh, the, the the other thing that I want to mention about this game is the, the, the start that Indus got, I thought they would definitely reach 130, 140 because they were like, 40, 40 odd runs were the first week at partnership. And then after that, they kind of uh, uh, fell over and then they bundled up for 91. Uh, changing 91, again, playoff uh, on the lines. Dynamics were already qualified, but again, winning this game would definitely put them uh, ahead in the rankings and uh, give them a, 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 a opponent uh, uh, of a lesser ranking, considering if they lost the game, they would have played somebody in the top four or five. Uh, that being said, uh, Dynamites, I think they started off the chase really very well. Uh, the opening partnership, uh, Amrit and Arun Selvaraj put up a good partnership of 30 runs in five, uh, 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 in close to six overs. And I think that once that foundation was set, I think they were confident enough to go ahead and chase this. But then quick wickets in the middle order, again, bringing, pulling them back. Uh, Saurabh uh, uh, in the middle order, uh, giving some resistance, I think. But Anil Bilimuria's innings of 19 runs in the end was which changed the game for Dynamites. Eventually, they ended the chase uh, in 24th over for the loss of seven wickets, uh, scoring, um, crossing the 91-run target. I think Jalaj uh, from Indus Thunders uh, 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 did all the damage that he could in his allotted five overs, picking up four wickets. Uh, Vijay Verma, Rudraj picking two wickets. But I think somehow some something uh, from the Indus Thunders, the mojo factor was missing, I guess. Uh, again, uh, again, Abhishek can add uh, if I missed anything in this game, but... Definitely a great win by Dynamites and definitely a confidence booster for them going into the playoffs, I would say. Okay. Um, Dynamites played um, a positive game because I was an empire there. They they played very positively. So, that's one uh, thing uh, that I noticed. Uh, the next game of the night is FCC versus Patriots. Abhi, your thoughts. I mean, if you take out MCC versus Glads, that historic innings, you know, I felt this is the best game uh, that happened in the last week. Your thoughts, Abhi? Oh, yeah, definitely. The most anticipated game of the week. We have, you know, we had a lot of ifs and buts around this game uh, during last week's analysis. And it, it all came down to one wicket in a low-scoring thriller. Um, FCC winning the toss, electing to bat, had a fairly decent start at the top with a couple of 16-plus partnerships. Ashwin uh, played well at the top, doing his, uh, doing his job as an opener in a 19 of 27 with the boundary. Steady innings from him and well supported by Vijay Mata in the middle, scored 13 of 28. Um, Teju and Prabhu, you know, they were there for quite a while, but, you know, the score wasn't moving much and, you know, they succumbed to the you know, pressure and they lost the wickets. But now, while this remains the story of FCC batting in the first half, I don't know what really happened in the second half in a, such a crucial game. From 36 for 4 to 56 all out, and uh, when you have good players like Shashank, Srikant, Tejas, Nishant, Harsha, Sujan, Venkat, you know, it, it's definitely a below, below par effort from SCSM, uh, from FCC. All these names, you know, they are well known in the league and uh, to rub salt to their wounds, half their team got out on zero. 
um, that's unbelievable actually and somehow i feel that this is because of the pressure that to put the patriots between the 11th and 15th over there were three maidens on the trot and and just one run coming on that fourth so in on out of four overs there was only one and probably a, a wicket there now i would assume that fcc lost a couple of wickets while trying to recuperate from there after uh, four scoring one run of the four overs after the break that's 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 way too much pressure on fcc but 51 for seven they, they were 51 for seven in 21st over getting all out in the next five balls just made things bad for them you know i just would have hoped that uh, to get the league that they've been uh, you know they definitely know how to bat well in this league it doesn't matter where good batsmen can come eight down or nine down too but you know, the, the 10 15 runs in this from there could have actually helped the cc win uh, patriots they were spot on with their bowling and the changes all their bowlers had uh, having bowled with an exceptional economy rate except for mahinder was kind of uh, expensive four wickets to santosh konchada lovely figures for him and uh, three more to raj shekar who cleaned up the tail by picking two wickets in the in the last over we we we've mentioned uh, about this guy when uh, when we were analyzing indus versus patriots game is pretty good now what seemed like an easy target uh, to chase for uh, patriots wasn't a cake it wasn't a cake walk they've had their share of scares while chasing this fcc struck with quick wickets at the top while the tejas from patriots was in was in his own zone taking no pressure 16 of 20 uh, a, a serious vital contribution from him you know without which patriots wouldn't have won this game a crucial run out uh, to send him back after scoring a six on off the same over uh, things changed drastically for patriots from this position fcc were literally on top of the game from here on, on until the 20th over this was probably around 8th over that uh, they just got out and until the 20th over fcc was right on right on the spot and um, sujan leading the team with crucial breakthroughs um, almost won the game for fcc uh, he had this a uh, two wicket over somewhere around 18th uh, 18th or 19th over um, just nine runs to from there and one wicket um, one wicket a victory was, was in vicinity for both the teams fcc struggled to take that 10th wicket and patriots literally just crawled through to the border in the last over fcc bowling sujan was outstanding for his uh, four wicket spell and two more to teju all the bowlers were economical but they didn't have the score to defend surprised to see that prabhu mahadeva bowls first ball in 25th over he's known he's a, we, we all know he's a good bowler but i i don't know why he never got the over in between but a close game of cricket to both the teams and what a game to be played when it's a must win for both the teams one returns with joy while the other just goes with their heads down okay um see uh, the next game of the night is glcc versus canton 11 while you guys are talking about uh, this game i'll quickly go get uh, rahul channa we will discuss uh, that one with uh, mcc glats game uh, you know you guys can ask him questions and and uh, we all know how great innings he played okay with that um with um okay. so yeah i okay. continue yeah so canton levenus and glcc you know jagan wasn't conf- confident about glcc winning this game last week so something is up for the glcc that jagan is not telling us by the way you know the, the team the glcc has started the tournament in the first half and the way they are playing currently is a complete contrast of the situation a uh, uh, game they should have won easily canton levenus choosing to bat after winning the toss were well put to pressure with straight away with uh, two wickets at the top a 15 plus run partnership uh, from canton levenus batsman before losing out the two more wickets before the break rupinder and sadat hold held their wickets well and scored some runs helped the team score 13 to rupinder and quick 12 to sadat glcc um, soon after the innings break strikes back with strong uh, strikes back strongly with three quick wickets uh, 13 14 and 15th over i suppose now that put uh, canton levenus in a di- canton levenus in a difficult spot they are already seven down now uh, with, and the lower, lower order were actually exposed at the, to this situation similar to what uh, fcc was facing but uh, in this game you know the lower order did well to support their settled batsman chandrapit who scored a vital 15 to help the team score get into the 70s glcc we all know they are a good bowling side and their score sheet also speaks the same now preet um so he's had a good day but he hasn't got in many wickets bowls two maidens in his five overs picking up one wicket sandeep gopinath being the pick of the bowlers getting three wickets two wickets to eat samish bhai and uh, akash patel 
now 70 is are always a tricky score for every other team but by the way glcc batted in their first half of the league this should have been an easy case for them abhi panamad sir scoring a quick 10 may again he was departed uh, he was actually sent back early vibhav a very good batsman we all know uh, and was again sent back early he also scored another 10 now by the innings break half of glcc batsmen were back in the dugout and only half the score was um, was scored probably 37 or 38 for four or five glcc slowly recovered well from here on and uh, you know they slowly started to sense victory uh, by the way akash patel was batting Uh, but the two crucial wicket 19th over from uh, javed literally blurred things out again for glcc he, 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 picked, he picks up the important wicket of akash again sends back glcc to the back foot after akash scored 15 runs and uh, you know they almost took gl almost took glcc home but, you know the pressure mounts when the team scores uh, moves from 56 for 6 to 56 for 8 the two wicket over can change so many things in the in the mindset of a player and finally glcc falling short by eight runs Canton Leveners started off well with their bowling. Didn't give too many extras to GLCC. Junaid, Mohammad, and Javed all getting two wickets each. The two wickets from Javed uh, that I spoke about is what I would rate high in this game. Although Canton Leveners didn't stand a chance to get into the playoff, they did beat. They did well to beat a team like GLCC and uh, end on a high note. Uh, GLCC has concerns with their batting. I got to see how they do with the, uh, how they do in playoffs now. For the Glads MCC match, I just wanted to highlight a few points. Uh, I mean, Gladiators batting heavy team. They scored their runs. They did the job on the batting side, but faltered in the bowling. If you see the 194 runs scored by Gladiators, uh, again the top order performing uh, day in day out. Hardeep Singh having uh, a form of his life. I think he's he's performing each game that he has played uh, consistently, and even in this game he scored 71 not out, eight sixers. In the process, the entire Glads team scoring 17 sixers. But then nobody ever dreamt that MCC Miles would overdo that by hitting 18 sixers in their innings. So 35 sixers in the whole game. I think that's uh, maybe the highest number of sixers in a single game in DCL in its history, uh, to be honest. Uh, again, out of those 18 uh, from MCC Miles, 15 uh, were uh, hit by Rahul Chenma. So. And in the chase, the other point I wanted to mention was uh, MCC Miles managed to uh, score 95 runs in the last seven overs, and also in that seven overs there was a maiden double wicket over. So effectively, in six overs they scored 95 runs. So you can imagine the hitting uh, prowess of Rahul Sharma and how that game turned from nothing to a huge, huge win for MCC Miles. So. Again, I think the key here for MCC Miles was they just went in without any pressure. Uh, they they did not have anything to lose. They just had to try their uh, best to win the game or get that bonus point, as Rahul was mentioning. And I think in that process, they just uh, over overcame the target. So, okay, uh, the next game is uh, again your Simti SSK versus um, Troy Hawks. While you talk about this game, I'll go get uh, Thai food. Uh, so that we can get into predictions and little more deeper analysis. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So again, uh, Troy Hawks versus SSK. I think uh, 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 predictions-wise, I think we we were uh, contemplating on who would be winning this game. And again, this game had a simple equation. Uh, SSK had a simple equation for uh, before the, this game. They win and they go to the playoffs. Uh, 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 and Troy Hawks was already qualified at that point, so uh, a win would put them in a good situation. Um, uh, Stuff like that. So, uh, given that situation, SSK all SSK had to do was win this game. But unfortunately for them, even though they won this game, they couldn't make it to the playoffs. That is that is unfortunately the situation. And uh, hard hard luck to SSK to be honest, uh, because the other game that impacted their chances was the MCC Miles and Glads game, where MCC Miles surprisingly winning against Glads uh, just uh, meant that SSK was out of the uh, playoff race. So if you go into the details of this game again, Troy Hawks batting first. Uh, they managed to score 110 runs, but again, it was uh, it was a very uh, uh, ordinary performance in the top order. Again, thanks to Kaushik low down the order, scoring those 60 valuable runs with six sixes and three fours, which enabled them to cross that 100 run mark and also post a formidable total of 110 runs. Uh, if you remove that 60 from Kaushik, I think this was a very pretty dismal performance from Troy Hawks, to be honest, because their top order really did not perform. And again. Uh, Troy Hawks has been a little on and off in the last few games. Uh, I think they need to uh, 
get back to the basics and uh, uh, do well in the playoffs uh, going forward so uh, from from 30 32 for 6 to 110 i think that was a great recovery from troy hawks and uh, definitely going in confidence uh, going into the second half but again ssk obviously they have been performing uh, so well throughout the tournament and i think they have had uh, some great games and uh, i think this game again uh, proves and uh, 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 reiterate that that SSK is a team here to stay and make uh, uh, great progress uh, in the in the coming seasons. So uh, chasing down 110 runs, I think they had a steady start. Uh, they lost a quick wicket the very first wicket, but then after that, I think they steadied down. And I think uh, you know, Vinod, who scored 38 in the top of the order, uh, Satish Mohan scoring those 13 runs, and then lower down the order, Shiva Ramchandran and Vikas Sangwe. I think that partnership was very crucial in this uh, victory. uh, uh again uh, uh, looking at the score card it looks like it went down to the very last ball uh, uh uh and again chasing down 111 is not a, not an ordinary task but unfortunately even though after that great victory they really couldn't make it to the playoffs uh, but really really tough luck uh, to ssk but uh, i think like i said that is a team to stay and make a great uh, performance in the future season so hard luck ssk Troy Hawks, uh, I think you need to buckle up and uh, uh, bring your best to the playoff game. So, okay, with that we have covered all the games and we have uh, our uh, another guest, uh, Taif or Rahman here. Uh, hi, Taif. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jagam. Thank you for inviting me to this show, Radio. Okay, now let's uh, before uh, we get into uh, predictions and little more analysis about, um, you know. Uh, a little more analysis about a lot of teams are asking for tips but i don't know whether you guys can give those tips or not but uh, we will get little deeper into this um, analysis part and prediction okay analysis in the sense what it will who is the best player in in, in that team and um, you know what happens um, if we get that wicket or if he gets the wicket something like that you know the discussion is going to be like that and uh, before we go into that one i just would like to give us uh, update on what's happening in um, um, uh, our corporate cup uh, chrysler you know i keep calling chrysler it's uh, stellantis uh, scored 99 and bcbs i'm chasing that one they are right now uh, at 72 for 4 and um, 16th over running they need 28 runs in 26 balls that's status of that game and with that we'll quickly get into uh, <laughs> predictions okay so taif how is your yes. how is your team feeling you know after that loss uh we are shocked like whenever we scored the like 194 i am actually out of town but we are following the game uh i was watching the game till whenever uh let to seven wickets then i was stop watching because i was following f40 game for mishka and oh. uh, one of the time i was watching and it's, i felt like it's 139 uh, something still seven wickets and there are 18 to 19 over then i was skip uh, you know following this games and i was showing like okay rahul chan now was playing amazing every ball he is hitting in the middle of the bat and he is hitting outside the field uh yeah we I am we are shocked but actually we are uh, personally me I wanted at least one loss before we go into playoff because if you are not losing a game you don't know what's your weakness or your strength if you win all the game you will feel relaxed and you come to the playoff with a relaxed mood which we shouldn't if you want to win a championship so one or two loses is uh, uh, is okay okay but uh, this win for mcc mark was amazing especially rahul chenna whatever he played is like It's a dream game for me, at least for me. If you can go to us after seven and go winner team uh, changing 194, it's a dream for me. He played a dream game for me. <laughs> yeah, true. What you said yeah. is true. Okay, with that we'll get into the uh, prediction part. And uh, the first game of the night is Pokeries versus Patriots. Okay, and I'll I'll go round table here. I'll first ask you guys for prediction, and then um, again I'll come back to you guys for. Uh, you know little details on that one and you know if you want to take uh, explain about any players key players you can explain that okay pokeries versus patriots imti 
Uh, well, uh, again, uh, from from this stage on, I think it will be be really hard to predict the winners again, just based on the performance and uh, uh, Ben's uh, Ben's strength or the paper strength. I would I would definitely wait uh, Pokeries uh, to win this game. Again, just head to head player comparison wise, and the confidence that Pokeries gets going into the playoffs versus Patriots, how they have reached the playoffs. Uh, they had to really struggle it out in the last game. Again, that win also would give them a lot of confidence, but still, I think. Um, from from a performance wise, I think poker is uh, way ahead. Poker is okay. Uh, Abhi. Yeah, I echo my thoughts with Imti here. Uh, poker is are a completely different team in in a playoff uh, situation, and playoff games are very pretty very difficult to predict. Situation or the game situation definitely is different from a normal game or a normal league game. Patriots again, uh, like Imti mentioned, the way they won, uh, chasing a uh, low score, they struggle to. Uh, score 56 57 runs against fcc bowling they did manage to win but they still struggled they lost nine wickets so t- considering that i would give the edge to pokeries pokeries are a lot more experienced team and they they might they'll they, they will win this game guys okay so prediction is like a whenever we do prediction you have to think about like team strength and uh, overall how the team doing so basically i do prediction based on the team strength even though if some teams i like i will not go with the team if his strength is not good enough so here from uh, no apocris versus uh, yes, i will go with apocris you okay. i think the apocris will take it uh, uh, convincingly okay everybody is taking talking i mean uh, taking apocris here uh, remember in 2019 patriots beat apocris in uh, playoffs okay with that you know empty you know can you back your yeah so again uh, like pokeries has a uh, interesting lineup of players right like you you have uh, match winners uh, like left and right in pokeries if you, if you talk about the top order sarun raj is there and then vignesh uh, probably one of the best one down batsmen in the league and then you have uh, players like prasanna ranjit coming down and then their new additions ragu and how can you forget neel he has been so outstanding in this in this season all along so with with that kind of batting power and batting lineup i think pokeri definitely have a strong upper hand whereas patriots on the other hand has struggled in the batting department so that is where i see patriots has a stronger uh, presence on the bowling side if i can say it that way but i think pokeries batting lineup is too strong uh, for 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 a team like patriots okay players to watch out for uh, from pokeries and patriots also has very good players like again obviously sai and then uh, we had naresh who really performed well in couple of games and then uh, but i think if all, all the members need to come together as a team uh, not just one performance from one of the players like that so that is the biggest task that patriots has yeah so you ended it very well patriots have to come together to beat pokeries okay the uh, 2019 pokeries are different from 2020 2021 so uh, uh with that i'll go to abhi your thoughts yeah 2019 patriots were also a completely different team again they they were on a roll uh, patriots and everyone else was talking about this team outside of the uh, outside of the ground so but that sadly that's not happening this season initially beginning they did talk about the way naresh is batting the way naresh was on song uh, but frank uh, i mean in between he yeah, he he started to have that lean patch sai you know he's an amazing player but the situations that he came in most of the games was was in a pressure situation so he never played his uh, true uh, true skill out yet because being the captain being in the middle he has to play that more responsible innings so the key play, the key players if for me uh, off off from the both the teams is uh, from patriot side i'll pick naresh and i will pick uh, tejas because uh, this guy has been batting well uh, and if he goes on song and i believe you know if he gets that partnership along with naresh or probably along with uh, other players around him they will they will now patriot side will be a completely different team but the top order is from patriot is the key you know the key players that have to come and perform bowling raj shekhar has has always been the go to bowler for patriots and uh, everyone else was around him and uh, i still feel um, I, i i don't know why narendra may is playing uh, is not playing much of the games he's either he's a quality bowler for them and i just hope that he turns up for this pokeries 
players. I, I know most of their players, but uh, I've not known Neil, and I've seen him in the Michigan Cup semi-finals game, and he's a quality batsman. It's it's very difficult to get this batsman out. So uh, and that's the only thing I want to give out. And uh, he's going to be the key player. Like and also the the bowling department, uh, he's he's also doing pretty well. And you know, our other star bowlers in poker is they have a list of uh, big star bowlers poker is. But I feel Neil has to be the key player here because he's done very well with both bat and ball. Okay, your thoughts, um, Taif? Ah, uh, poker is actually always they are very experienced in for this year. I have seen them playing three finals. I if I not forget, 2014, 15, or 16. or 70 sometimes they play three finals and they have one of the best uh, captain who is very smart robin arola uh, there are few captains in this year who actually uh, do some homework besides the game they think outside of the game so robin arola is one of them and he has couple good batsmen this year batsmen you can say nilkant then rogu the lefty and big vicky vignesh these three are really good this year batsmen so i think they had edges for batting and bowling robin arala will need lead their bowling department and other side dyn uh, patriots they have i think sai kiran if he is i think he is the best uh, player for their side if he do bat and ball for them then they might have a chance and also narendra i don't know if narendra playing regularly or not but the both of them they need to perform well in order to get beat uh, pokris but pokris has a good edge because they have a better batsman most mostly actually they have a bunch of uh, matching our batsmen like if, even though if you're getting nil kant they have rogu who can stay there for a longer time and bigness he always keep the run uh, blocking so i think poker is uh, is okay, winning this game have, um, longer batting whereas patriots have very short batting Correct. lineup okay i uh, yeah and and poker is have better bowling also when compared to patriots uh, or more or less same Okay, with that we'll go to the next game. Next game of the night is Sterling Strikers versus Dynamites. It's here, you know, where things get really tough. Dynamites are playing very positively, and Sterling Strikers also, you know, uh, you know, they have they have achieved a lot than what we expected, and uh, I think first time they are into playoffs. Okay, I'll start with um, Imti. Imti, which which one is your pick? Sterling Strikers, Dynamites. I guess this is one of the games that I really uh, am not inclined to any team, to be honest, uh, or uh, I'm, I'm unable to predict based on uh, based on the strength of the performances. To be honest, I completely agree with you on this one. Uh, so uh, again, uh, like again, just just looking at uh, from from the scorecards and because I I haven't seen any of these teams this season personally, or I I wasn't not able to. witness any of these games uh, apart from the scorecards that i have been analyzing in the show uh, uh, what my initial feeling is that sterling strikers is a batting heavy unit whereas dynamites has uh, been a bowling unit this season they are into the playoffs because of their bowling dynamites if i can tell from the scorecards uh, so the, again it's dynamites bowling with the sterling strikers batting is what i think because sterling strikers have been uh, uh, playing good cricket in the batting side Uh, i'm not sure about the bowling except from ghazali obviously he is topping the charts but uh, apart from ghazali uh, i really don't know who the go to bowler is from sterling strikers so that way it's hard to predict but just just if i had to take a pick i i'll just go with dynamite just based on based on the experience that they have in the league that that's the only factor that i'll pick dynamites okay abhi yeah very difficult pick uh, jagan both sterling strikers and dynamites have to have done very well this season and uh, dynamites have seen how they how they played uh, the last game and they are a powerful unit and sterling strikers on the other end uh, i believe in this point is right the dependency on few players like sayer and rajali is pretty high and take them off the equation i don't know how effective sterling strikers can be but um, i have always backed sterling strikers this season uh they they from the way they were played in the beginning and after even even this, despite the fact that they lost in between uh i i will stick to selling strikers selling strikers okay nice ah uh, again i will go with like uh, mt and avi this game is uh, hard to predict because both team are pretty close to you know they are strong strength for betting and bowling both 
teams depends on only a couple of the guys for their betting and for bowling. So I believe this game is going to be a very close contest. Uh, Sterling Stakers, I know they are batsmen. They always want to play big charts. So if Dynamite, they can get some early wickets, then I think it's for Dynamite. Again, if Sterling Stakers batsmen, they can get the hit, then this could be their game. So it is hard for me, but a little bit edge, I'll give it to Sterling Stakers. Sterling Stakers, okay. So, Imti, do you want to get into any details of the players? Right, again, uh, I think I already touched on that point. Sterling Strikers, players to watch out of. Definitely, Raza Ali uh, is uh, one of their key players. And I think Syed Ahmed in the batting department, he has been uh, very crucial uh, in, all the, in the, all the games that he has played. And uh, I think these two players will uh, really matter. Like if, if they perform, I think Sterling Strikers has a very good chance. On the other hand, Dynamites, like I said, they have been uh, uh, bowling heavy this season. Uh, I don't see much performance on the batting side, uh, apart from one or two. Uh, so, Dynamites are, again, uh, key players. Uh, pra- Prakash, if I'm correct, if I remember the name correct, Prakash is the, is the key bowler who has been among the wickets. And then Arun Selvaraj has been really good this season. So, I think these are the two players to watch out for from Dynamites, Arun Selvaraj and Prakash. How about you, Abhi? Yeah, because I picked Sterling Strikers, I would like to pick uh, the players I want to watch out for Dynamites. Um, um, for me... Um, the key point is how Venkat plays in the middle uh, for Dynamites because he's a quality player and um, he he's not going to score those big runs, those big sixes, but he's neither going to just uh, tap around. He's going to keep the keep the score over moving. So he's a, he's a quality player and take him uh, bring Saurabh into the equation. Um, if their middle order and lower order fires, their Dynamites are a completely different team. Arun on the top again. Um, I know we all know he's a he's a quality bowler. But um, uh, to the surprising fact that uh, Arun has been opening and he's been doing very well uh, with the bat. So Dynamite's batting will, uh, uh, if, if they if they come together and actually they have been playing together very well this season. So if that that happens this game, then maybe my prediction could be wrong. Okay. Uh, do you have any players in mind, Taif? Yes, for uh, Stalin Stakers, uh, I can pick like Raza Ali for both betting and bowling. He needs to do his consistent performance there. Also, Ali Abbas is a guy who actually opens for Stalin Stakers. If he stays there, he can take the game away from the opponent, but he's a big hitter. And other than that, Syed Ahmed, he's the guy. He's scoring actually consistently for Stalin Stakers. So, if Stalin Stakers need to win, Raza Ali needs to do the performance. Well, and Dynamics, I actually accept Orun. I am, I don't know actually most of those players. I played with Orun. He's a very fantastic all-rounder. So he's the guy needs to check for Dynamics. Okay. And uh, before I go to the next game, and uh, Sandeep Gopu predicts uh, Pokeries have a little edge over uh, Patriots. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, the next game of the night is Raptors versus MCC Miles. Okay. It's about momentum versus strength. Uh, Imti. Well, uh, again, this is a very good clash. Uh, uh, again, you'll be uh, hearing this for every game, a good clash, because obviously we are into the playoffs. Yes. And <laughs> so, uh, again, this this is a very good matchup, I would say, because Raptors obviously have been uh, consistent throughout the season. Uh uh, getting some big scores, winning some comfortable games, and having some uh, hiccups in the process. On the other hand, MCC Miles, who had to trump uh, the best team in the league to reach the playoffs uh, with that huge, huge victory in the last game. I think you 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 uh, introduced it better, like momentum versus strength here. So, so MCC Miles uh, uh, again with the momentum, but again it's it's. Uh, uh, Huge expectations now from MCC Miles to beat a team like Raptors. Uh, on on strength wise, I think I'll give it to Raptors just because of the consistency or the uh, the season that they had. And uh, maybe when we talk about players, I'll touch on uh, some other topics. But Raptors is my pick. Raptors, okay, Abi. <laughs> Very difficult. In a normal uh, league game, uh, I would have definitely picked MCC Miles. But playoff scenarios are so different that you cannot just pick. Just like that, based on the momentum, Raptors are a very good side, and they've proved how they how well they how well they've played this season. Whereas MCC Miles, uh, uh, 
they, they've done very well to beat glad so they, there's no reason why they can't they shouldn't believe that they can beat this team but again uh, playoff scenarios I, I i'll give the edge to raptors this game but yeah mcc match are not going to go down without without a fight yeah good tight uh i'll go with raptors because uh, raptors has five uh, five solid bowlers they have six six solid bowlers too. and they are betting um, amar is like both in leather ball and t ball he's in in form in both the both format uh, amar kiran they both are doing really, really great but i don't know why pradeep bhatta is not playing uh, with raptors much maybe he's busy or not able no he's, he's injured he's injured oh he's injured. Injured. oh yeah. okay I didn't know yeah. that he was he was one of the best I think the CL best man for uh but they will miss him but I I think Raptors had a good edge because they have good best good very nice up they have very good bowling line up and then this is yeah they beat uh, Gladiators uh, 194 in uh league round but playoffs going to be a little bit different it's going to be really tough game for them against Raptors which is a very solid unit so I'll take Raptors for this game Okay, okay. So, uh, see, there is nothing for MCC Miles to lose here. Okay, they made it to the playoffs very first time, and um, you know, uh, you know, they made it to the playoffs after a scintillating knock. Okay, unbelievable historical knock, and uh, historical no- uh, knocks don't happen quite often. Often in our um, league, so I mean, they have to go into the game with the same attitude. there's nothing to lose for them and with that empty any players that that was exactly my thought also uh, uh, jagan so i was i was about to mention that mcc miles like in the last game they have nothing to lose they just go out express yourselves you're ready to the playoffs uh, from here on again it's it's just given day right so mcc miles definitely i wouldn't rule them out uh, right out uh, they definitely have a good unit they can upset again if if i if i want to remind again pradeep bhatta might not like what i'm saying but raptors in one of the seasons was a very very good team but they got knocked out in the pre quarter finals like they were touted to be the uh, the champion team in that in that season but they got uh, 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 over beat uh, overdone in the pre quarter finals itself so taking a leap uh, out of that maybe uh, that that is an inspiration that mcc miles needs to look that it's it's even though raptors is a good team uh, like again if you have beaten glads i think you can beat any other team you just have to go out and express yourself on the other hand for raptors what i can say is a positive thing is like they have been playing without their captain pradeep bhatta all along season uh, uh, pradeep bhatta again barely qualifying with the last game he will be a good addition coming into the playoffs uh, so if if they have performed so well without pradeep bhatta now add pradeep bhatta to the equation and then raptors will definitely be a totally different unit going into the playoffs so key players to watch out for me for raptors obviously amar who has been in the prime form kiran boynpally who has been performing with bat and ball uh, again a key player for uh, uh, raptors add pradeep bhatta and harsha to that equation i think it's a formidable unit for uh, raptors mcc miles again players to watch out for definitely uh, we all we all uh, talk about uh, sanjay i think he has to come to the fore if if uh, mcc miles needs to win this game again they have good top order batsmen brahma jashwant again rahul chenna down the order uh, like these are all good players so these are the players to watch out for in my opinion okay abi before before i go to abi you know uh, stellantis won uh, corporate cup uh, against bcps sam to make it to finals so the finals will be on saturday night 6:30 to 10:30 in novi power park 1 between stellantis versus ford okay uh, abi any players for in your mind between raptors versus mcc miles yeah having picked the uh, raptors um, one downside i see about raptors is the dependency that they have on amar and kiran uh, because uh, take, take these two out of the equation and then i i doubt how well raptors raptors can or if raptors can score that those 120 130 Uh, runs but again it's not easy to get on the route he's he's got shots all around the ground so you have to have that slight luck factor to get him out but whereas uh, the fact that i like about mcc miles is their batting um, their batting has been their strength this season brahma has been in amazing form uh, this season and i feel, i believe he's the key player for them and uh, the only uh, 
uh, i only hope for a situation where sanjay is not put to the pressure if you put sanjay into the pressure and then ask him to play his kind of innings he, he might not be doing that he might not be able to do that but take pressure of him and ask sanjay to bat the way he is he's a completely a different player and i hope the same with the uh, patriots for sai as well so um sanjay i i won't i don't want to get sanjay into the equation but for me the key player is brahma and their bowling obviously tanith has been leading the wickets and i know how we how well he bowls how well how well he bowls he's been on the expensive side a bit but he gets those initial breakthroughs again uh, bad i mean i did pick the two players from raptors amar and kiran are the key players okay uh, your thoughts uh, on uh, on players uh, about this match up uh, taif i'm i'm totally agree with obvious for raptors you have to keep eyes on amar and kiran they both are in fabulous in form amar is scoring like more than 100 strikes in all format of cricket so you need to take him early if you want to win the game and for bowling i think uh, raptors has very good solid bowling unit all five of them they are really good from like kiran anil and sai all three are amazing bowlers so like uh, last game uh um i am just mad they have a very good game against gladiators but again this game they will have to face a better bowling unit so they need to prepare themselves it's not like playing against a better unit uh but for mcc mars sanjay need to come forward uh, to get his team going uh, i see couple games he's not performing this year but i think if he can perform well this game going to be pretty good but if, again if they win we, i can say it's upset because in cricket anybody can beat anybody so on their day if they win i think it's their day so yeah i but still i will take raptors for this game after 30 okay and uh, so um, we still have five more games so we will be doing the show till 10:30 is what i'm guessing so please be um, you know uh, patient with us because we want to give as many details as possible for the teams to watch out for uh, playoffs okay the next game of the night is krcc versus troy hawks uh, what is your pick imti Well, definitely again uh, just based on the strength and the performance throughout the season i think i would rate krcc higher than troy hawks definitely and troy hawks coming off of two losses in the last two games uh, leading into the playoffs the confidence definitely uh, not up to the mark whereas krcc uh, uh, has come uh, uh, really uh, well in the last few games also adding uh, some key players to the lineup so krcc okay your pick abhi Yeah, I think it will be a, a, a KRCC convincing beating, convincingly beating Troy Hawks. But again, uh, Troy Hawks, uh, they they will give a fight. But I think KRCC is going to win this. Taif. Yep, totally agree with both. Uh, KRCC has a huge edge here. I think they will win convincingly in this game. Okay, so let's get into player details here. What is the Troy Hawks need? to beat krcc just in case imti well i don't know what they need to do but i can i can just give some details of the players to watch out for and the key players that they need to concentrate on focus on probably uh, so like i was mentioning krcc added tami moni to their lineup in the recent times so that is a very big addition to their bowling lineup they already had a very good bowling lineup and add that uh, add tami moni to that equation it is a totally different uh, unit now Uh, again i was just looking at the corporate cup score card uh, i saw our fellow and is just meet picking up five wickets just uh, going into the playoff game so in this uh, in the corporate cup game so i think that will be a huge <laughs> confidence booster for him so uh, with the likes of um, just meet in the lineup uh, then you have tami moni then you have bihar uh, who is a very good player in krcc rankings when you have their uh, 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 stand uh, vice captain satish gaba yeah and and we can never forget maulik who has been so consistent this entire season for them in the batting department i think that is that is a tall order that we are looking at from krcc side whereas on the other side if you look at troy hawks i think they have had some inspiring performances throughout the season they were promising all through the season except in the end they kind of faded away uh, i feel uh, uh, but but there are definitely key players like natraj in their lineup kaushik uh, chapidi and then uh, 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 I'm trying to remember the other name uh, uh, in the batting department. Uh, I think it was Shashidhar, Shashidhar Rajputi, who, who who has been consistently scoring for them. I think these are the three key players that I would watch out from Troy Hawks. 
but again that being said troy hawks has been playing good as a unit and uh, i think they have the potential but uh, krcc definitely has upper hand if you look at uh, the paper strength yeah krcc looks much uh, stronger than troy hawks uh, uh, abhi do you see any uh, match winners in troy hawks um for me obviously definitely kaushik at uh, the way he played all throughout the season and the last game that he played and uh, nataraj can be a very crucial player but match winner kind of innings kaushik will be the player but uh, one thing for me is uh, uh, to put it out in a simple way jagan this game krcc is a stronger unit compared to troy hawks troy hawks can match krcc in batting but can they match krcc in bowling that's where they, they are lacking that's why i feel krcc is going to win this game yeah i i totally agree with that one it is just that bowling unit uh, i mean krcc looks a little stronger uh, your thoughts taif on the players uh i see both batting and bowling uh, krcc had huge edges for from uh, troy hawks for troy hawks i know only shashidar and the natraj they both are very good batsmen but is the match winner i think krcc has much more match winner than uh, uh, troy hawks they have molik patel they have jasmeet singh Tommy Money is an all-rounder, betting, bowling all-rounder, so any of them can win the game for themselves. Then they have for bowling, I think uh, 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 MT already mentioned all the bowlers' names, but you miss Sahesh Bhushan. He's a very good left-arm uh, bowler. Uh, so they have all five, six. Hello? Yeah, Sahesh, Sahesh. Sahesh Bhushan. He, I think he's a left-arm uh, test yeah, bowler, yeah. right? Yeah. If I'm not missing, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. also a fantastic bowler. I saw him. So they had all five very good bowlers. So KSC had, um, you know, uh, clear edge here. Okay. So the next game of the night is Gladiators versus Strikers. Okay. I'll start with Imti. Um, let's see. I don't want to put you in a spot, uh, Taif. So I'm not going to ask to predict this game. Okay. If you want to talk about this game, you can. But I'm not asking you to predict anybody. Okay, Imti. Uh, well, again, uh, you have the best team of the league, uh, which is one of the uh, 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 consistent teams, I would say, if I can call strikers that, because they, ha- I think they have made the playoffs very consistently in the recent times. So, uh, again, uh, coming against the Gladiators uh, for any team would be a huge task, uh, especially in the playoffs. Uh, beating them, they they are a totally different unit come playoffs, uh, uh, if if if, uh, if you can say that. So uh, obviously, paper strength and the performance-wise, I think Gladiators are way, way ahead of Strikers uh, in, in, in uh, man-to-man strength. So uh, definitely Gladiators for me. Okay, Abhi. You know the best part of this game, Jagan, is because uh, Strikers wouldn't have never even thought of playing Glads in the first round because of MCC Miles winning that game. Strikers is paying the price for that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Otherwise, strikers are not. We are not even supposed to be facing clans. F- 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 MCC F- Miles has changed the fate of a lot of teams, to be honest. So, like at least three or four teams that got affected with that victory, right? MCC Miles. Yeah, true. So, but uh, to pick between the two teams, obviously, clans. Like, firstly, they are not going to come off easy uh, uh, from the previous game. Uh, if I have known Hardeep, Ranak, and a uh, few other players from Glad Satya. they don't take games uh, very lightly even if it's a league game or a playoff game so i'm sure glass are going to come strong no matter who the team is and strikers uh, they've not done exceptionally well this season uh, they've they've done well to qualify but uh, can they have can they beat lads i question that i doubt that so i i think lads is going to win this game okay um you don't have to pick so if you want to talk about the game you can type uh no nothing to say like we will try our best we'll try to get our best uh, in it there we had like f40 issues last few days minor league issues but hopefully this week uh, we will overcome from them uh most likely we will have some good in it so we'll try our best to play our games fantastic that's nice way to put it uh empty players wise any watch out So yeah, we, we all talk about Gladiators as the, one of the best teams in the league, and there is a reason for that. Uh, they perform consistently. They get those huge victories, and they just put the opposition to uh, to just down the ground. So 
they are definitely a batting heavy team in my opinion and uh, you have players like hardeep ronak and uh, aditya in the top order then taif uh, uh, fellow uh, 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 here uh, uh, and then I, i'm not sure how much availability arjun ajbani has for this uh, playoff game but i think uh, players to watch out for definitely have the red hot form rona q who has been their consistent player top of the order both of these players have uh, got in excess of 200 runs in this league so that's that speaks about their uh, the form and uh, add to that shah nawaz if he is available i think that could be a destruction top of the order aditya we all know he just goes bang bang in the top uh, gives them the quick starts and then even in the middle i think you have players like vaibo and then uh, uh tires like i mentioned so i think batting wise i don't see any issues in the gladiators uh, the only uh, thought i think uh, gladiators need to put in is in the bowling department i know they have aditya aital uh, to cover the bowling department i was surprised to see muned not qualifying uh, to be honest i was hoping he would be available but uh, looks like he's not so i am really looking forward to that bowling combination the gladiators team Uh, on the other hand strikers uh, uh, again this this there's, there's nothing to lose they just go out express themselves and i think they have some good uh, batting uh, uh, in their de- in their team but i think again the bowling department is where they lack too strikers like, apart from binod singh i don't see any potent bowlers that can really make uh, breakthroughs uh, with the gladiators lineup so uh, strikers players to watch out again uh, pardeep has to come to the fore parag and rahul power have been consistent in the batting uh binod singh obviously is the key player and kapil i think needs to step up the uh, his game for this playoff game okay abhi any players yeah, too many match winners for glad you, you you take their top order out will they will have ronak will have hardeep will have uh, arjun will have tayo how many players are going to get them out they will the players are just going to come on you so that's why i give the edge to glad uh, obviously any probably any other analyst would have picked glad um so too many match winners for uh, glad so it's it's not uh, it's not uh, even you know we don't even have to discuss in detail about that but for strikers uh, i like the point that inti mentioned vinod singh is there uh, uh, is there strike bowler and uh, supported by parthiv and then uh, if you are rahul chauhri is uh, was actually in a good form in between and so i i feel vinod singh is going to vinod singh has that experience uh, to tackle the game but uh, can they beat strikers is uh, can they beat glass is something that to be discussed about in batting uh, rahul and parag like what again uh, inti mentioned they have been the go to guys for strikers if parthiv and kapil can support if strikers can come together as a team then they do stand a chance to you know uh, fight well against glass okay taif you uh, okay taif already talked about this one and uh, we will quickly get to get, get to our uh, next game blasters versus uh, glcc imti if you want to say anything you can say you don't have to predict uh, well i'll i'll refrain from any comments or predictions for us so okay you, uh, abhi i will give the edge i mean i've been picking glcc all this while uh, i know glcc is a completely different team in 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 a playoff situation but blasters have been doing well uh, all throughout the season uh, at least in the in the second half of their uh, season second half of their uh, games in the season so uh, i i'd pick uh, blasters blasters okay taif yeah the way actually glcc started and the roster i was like first uh, I was thinking like GLCC will play in final, like the final or semi final easily. But whenever the league progress, their performance is getting a little bit uh, below, below average because they have very good roster, experienced player. But I don't know why uh, they are not performing that much well. Um, and uh, I don't know why Ojeda is not playing on the top order because he's one of the good uh, DCL best men in DCL history. But he's not getting enough chance for this um, for. a glcc i'm not sure be maybe because of the players uh, uh, availability or something but he is a very good top order batsman for glcc but uh, yeah here i see blaster has a very good in it this year they merged with the uh, mt uh, team and uh, they are doing pretty very good this year they deserve the like playing in the final uh, but that's why i will pick blaster here okay your pick is blasters uh, yeah. abhi you want to get into any players Yeah, so see, GLCC has a very high dependency on Abhi, uh, Abhi Penmatsa. Uh, he's a quality player, and but again, you take him out early, 
uh, i'm sure rimti and hari has a plan for him but if you guys take him take him out early then there's a lot of pressure on uh, in the middle order of uh, glcc and ashraf has been the guy who always stays there and protects the you know, protects the batting of glcc so abhi and ashraf will be the go to guys but take given the fact that abhi could score a quick 30 40 then glcc are a completely different team because every other player will actually follow abhi and then they might end up scoring that 120 130 runs but that's not been happening for the last three or four games so and that's why i'm giving the edge to blasters uh the bowling department of uh, glcc i mean they're a lot more experienced pradeep samish they've always had some other some or some kind of a plan that they can actually work against so uh, for the blasters unit samish is going to be the key he's always going to be economical but uh, can he pick those wickets so that's that's going to be the key for uh, uh, glcc blasters um again like i said too many players here shanmug will be the game changer deepak will can be the game changer Ravi Tej Reddy has been doing very well with the bat more than the ball can be a game changer. So for me, Shanmukh is a key player for Blasters, uh, right coming in the middle. But a lot depends on how Blasters can move, can do their, um, can do how openness of the Blasters can do the job here in this game. So that that is going to be the major point for Blasters. Uh, bowling, um, I know Inti, Naresh, Deepa, Kanwesh, there are too many players bowlers here to pick, and uh, everyone can be. a uh, 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 match winner here take him till let's say imti gets it narish and deepak and ravi are going to come and support him so and it's the vice versa one one gets it the others going to come and support so too many bowlers for uh, blasters to pick but for me uh, the batting side i think uh, uh, shanmog is a key player for blasters guys uh before going into that i yeah imti is the ravi seja reddy who is to play for pokrish the same ravi seja Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. Actually, uh, I played with the uh, GLCC, but looks like uh, whatever I feel, GLCC bowling is not like the bowling we used to face before. Uh. So their bowling, um, used to be a very great uh, bowling with their experience, but looks like they have uh, weakness in bowling this year. Uh. The, for the batting, Napit goes opening, but he always plays big shots. This is uh, not a good to play against, at least the team against Blade Buster, because they have a uh, good pacer like Deepak, uh, Rabitej. I don't know if he bowls every game or not, but he's, he's a good pace. Then Imti, who bowls always wicket to wicket. So again, this type of bowler, you cannot go always those big shots and uh, play cross. Maybe you can hit one or two and then you'll get done. And once Napit gone, then what's going to happen with GLC, they'll go with defense mode. Uh, so I think in this game, Blaster has good edge because they have very good betting, bowling in it, as well as they have very good betting in it here. Yeah, good point about now, Kareem. Uh, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, he plays always, uh, no matter who is bowling, he always try to play those shots. Yeah. And against the DCL experience bowler here, I know this soccer, MC, they always bowl wicket to wicket and they have pace. You can beat those paces because of every ball. Correct. Okay. The next Jagan, game. Yeah. Jagan, do, do you have any comments on this game? or? I don't have any comments and uh, I hope GLCC gives a good fight. That's what I can say. Okay. And I hope <laughs> I hope Jagan will just put Ajit a little bit earlier so we can see how he plays in T-ball this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a definitely a very good uh, T-ball player, uh, which I've seen. Like, yeah. He's getting ages, but he looks like he's getting younger day by day. So you have to put <laughs> him in on the top order. <laughs> I, I hope, uh, uh, you know, Samish is listening to that. And uh, see, let, uh, you know, GLCC will definitely give fight. That much I can say. And uh, they do have match winners. Uh, actually, they do have a bunch. but they are not clicking okay that much i can say if they click yes it is going to be a good contest the next game of the night is indus thunders versus mi rangers and um, uh, uh, i'll start with imti which is your pick well again i think uh, based on the past performances a lot of people will definitely pick in the thunders and i might lean towards it but just looking at the the recent most recent games i think uh, mr rangers has been doing really good uh, i won't say they will upset in the thunders but i think this will be a very close game uh, than expected uh, to be honest so uh, uh, 
the end result i think in the standards will win it but i think uh, this will be a very uh, tight game and a cracker of a game okay now i'm not asking uh, abi uh, i'll go directly to taif uh i feel like uh, yeah, in this contest is going to win this game uh knowing uh, mi rangers i think avilash reddy is the guy who need to watch for the uh, mi rangers and who is all he's the only guy who bat and ball and take his team uh, for, to win but again this game i, I don't I unfortunately i think avilash is injured oh okay okay then i think it's going to be easy for indus thunder to win this game okay okay so let's get it to players now okay um but that, that that information actually changes a lot i, I was not sure about abilash ready so that that is new information <laughs> to me so that's what i uh, i heard but uh, okay yeah. okay i'm not sure but i heard abilash is uh, is injured yeah definitely abilash ready is uh, one of the three players for mr rangers and i think they do have uh, players like ifti aditya nalan and then also anush kumar who have been very much impressed this season anush has been performing day day in day out for mr rangers i think these four uh, players are the players to watch out for uh, for mr rangers i think all these four names that i mentioned are good all rounders so they do have a capacity to perform both with the bat and the ball and they can definitely change the game on the in the thunder side i think I'll, i'll i'll be very honest here uh, to be to uh, like i think this season pravin bangera's addition has been uh, really proved uh, 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 good for the team uh, uh, he's stopping the charts for them in the batting uh, he's crossed the 200 run mark uh, in the season and then if you look at the next top batsman i think it's chetan who has 76 runs in the season so again it could be the uh, fact that they have uh, uh, rotated the players throughout the season so uh most of the players playing uh, an average of five or six games uh, but i think uh, pravin bangera has been their main stay in the batting so they will depend on pravin uh, i hope our friend lawn list here abhishek gets uh, to bat uh, uh, in the top order and spend some time because he he is a very good batsman and he can uh, uh, stay there and get that scoreboard moving manoj singh another player who i love to watch uh, he's he's a very good all rounder and then again you have uh, match winners in the form of uh dinesh pandeti and then you have uh, vijay varma then you have uh, players like uh, uh, the rotor varma who who can just give them a quick start and i think the the most key, the, the the key player here for uh, indus thunder is jalaj uh, with his left arm uh, spin bowling i think uh, jalaj is uh, a, a guy who can single handedly win the game for indus thunder sai for your thoughts Yep, I agree with uh, yeah, MP with here. Like, um, Emma Rangers has some uh, good uh, all-rounders, but I think here in the standards, uh, they're too good for, at least for this round. They have so many all-rounders in match, you know, like Pravin Bangera, Chaitan, Manoj Singh, then uh, Sandy. Sandy is a very good uh, lefty spinner, and he's a very good batsman too, smart batsman. Then they have uh, Vijay Rodrigojo and uh, one of the best three-ball bowler, uh, Dinesh Panditi. so they have all five solid bowlers they have six seven solid batsmen i don't think uh, in the standard will get any trouble for this game okay uh, ne- the next game of the night is legends versus kings 11 i empty well again uh, just just going based on the form i think legends is too strong a unit for kings 11 uh, kings 11 is a spirited team and they have been putting up some great performances in the league games but i think legends uh, are are uh, uh uh like man to man strength i would just give it to legends for sure okay you, abhi who has done any day for me type yep same as here like uh, based on the performance i will take uh, legends here so players to take a note empty well well obviously legends have uh, been uh, the top uh, gear they have won nine games out of the 10 league games so they have the confidence they have the momentum going in apart from that krcc blip i think legends has been like outstanding throughout this league league phase so again players like gk who has been consistent he has got 200 plus runs in the, in the league in this season then you have players like harish elmansley uh, one of the fittest player that i have seen this this season uh, he is performing both with the bat and the ball 
and then uh, you have players like uh, Sai Pratap and then uh, Praveen Navakatla and then uh, Srikant Narni in the bowling department. Also our fellow analyst KK, uh, who can uh, give a quick start in the top. Uh, so, and then I, I think uh, uh, I've taken all the names here, but I would like to give a special mention to Guru, uh, who has been the standout performer this season. I think he has won uh, a game single-handedly, like at least three or four games that I can think of this season and he's been the trump card for legends this season uh, yeah with with likes of harish and uh, gk in the lineup I, I, if i'm talking about guru i think uh, that 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 really gives it that guru naga has been their uh, key player this season so on the other hand uh, if you look at kings 11 i think uh, they have shown some spirited performances i think their wins against strikers and krcc is the real reason why they have made it to the playoffs but then they also had some ordinary performances uh, uh, in some other games. So just then it was a uh, mixed bag uh, in the league phase. Uh, but then playoffs is a totally different ball game. I think it's a it's a level next 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 level of uh, game that they need to bring in here. So players to watch out for, I would definitely say uh, uh, Sunil Somu Orapu from uh, in the bowling department, their uh, best bowler this season. And I think. Uh, like I mentioned about Guru Naga for Legends, I think Sunil Somwarpu is a single reason why Kings Eleven has made it to the playoffs. Uh, so Sunil Somwarpu in the bowling and I think in the batting department, they have uh, Nikhil who had a good start. He scored a 50 in the beginning of the season. And uh, uh, also their top order, I think they have a decent batting lineup. Uh, I, I can remember the names of Deepak who is, who is solid and then also Sunil who can give some good starts for them. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm remembering all the players, but uh, I think these are some of the key players that we need to watch out for from Kings Eleven. Okay, uh, Abhi, players to watch out. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I, I forgot to mention Sai, Sai Karodi. That is the Sai other Karodi, name. Yeah. Sai Karodi, yes. Yeah, I was about to mention that in my thing. Uh, he's, he's a quality player too. So, uh, from legend side, uh, uh, Jagan, I think uh, too many players to pick. Uh, to, but to start off with Kings Eleven. Uh, I would totally agree with him. Sunil Somamaruku is the reason why Kings Eleven are in playoffs. He's been the key bowler for them against uh, those win against the strike. strikers. I mean, obviously, Nikhil was the guy who won the game, but Sunil and then uh, he was the guy who actually turned things around against uh, KRCC, if, I'm, if, I, if I remember that correctly. So he's a quality bowler, and if if, if Kings Eleven stand a chance uh, to uh, not to upset legends, then Sunil Somamaruku is the one who will to lead the team for them, at least in the bowling department. Um, so for the legends, uh, like I said, Guru has been the, uh, like Inti said, Guru has been the quality player, quality pick for legends this season. I've, I've played with them in other tournaments. He, he's something else. And uh, I, I, I don't know if all the players or all the all the other teams know about him, uh, but he's a player to be watched out for legends. Apart from that, they have, they have a big list of other players, but uh, I, I really like the balanced Legends unit, and they, they were pretty well balanced in batting, bowling, as well as uh, they're pretty strong in fielding, too. Okay, uh, Taif, players to watch out. Uh, okay, for moving forward, that actually, uh, I apologize, I don't know most of uh, any of uh, Kings 11 players, so I may can, can't make any comment there. But for Legends, I know this the same team, I think, playing for Mishka. Uh, leather ball and most of the player of this team was part of uh, FCC Cup too. So this is the team. They are all playing together. They know each other. They have pretty much pretty good gel in their team. So knowing that you, like to win a tournament, you need to gel your team uh, correctly. So they have this gel, the gen team. They are playing together. They have a very good communication with their team. And they have a couple of uh, good batsmen like Gautam and Harish. Harish is really amazing this year in both uh, key ball and leather ball format. So you have to keep eyes on Harish whenever he bowls or batting. And uh, especially bowling, they have a couple more guys like Guru and Harish and Pavin Arikatla. But the main thing, Legends, they have very good team combination. So Legends have good edge here. Okay, with that, we have covered all the games tonight. And uh, I'll go, to the, I'll go uh, to the analyst for last words and close the show. I'll start with Imti. Yeah, well, again, uh, a big thanks to all our listeners for staying up late. Uh, we went over about 30 minutes today. Uh, again, it's the importance of these playoff games that we wanted to cover as much as possible in our in our uh, talk show. And that being said, again, I would like to congratulate all the teams that made it to the playoffs. 
and hard luck to the teams that couldn't make it again just because of some uh, unexpected results in the end again it's tough luck uh, but i think a lot of teams have shown promise this season and i think uh, dcl is only going to get better uh, moving forward 25 years of dcl i think we are in the business end of the tournament playoffs start this week and it's only going to get interesting every week from here on so all the best to all the teams that are playing and hopefully we have a, a lot of uh, things to talk about in our next week show uh, analyzing the pre quarter final game so good luck to all the teams and thanks uh, abhi thanks tayf and thanks jagan uh, for uh, being on the show today thank you all good night it's not empty uh, and we have around what two, 302 uh, total listeners on the show um abhi last words yeah uh, like him to mention you know congratulations to all the top 16 teams who made it to the playoffs and uh, like i said earlier it doesn't matter how the teams have reached to the top 16 what matters is you're there and uh, every game and every team is completely different in playoffs so start fresh finish strong and more importantly get that win so good luck to all the players and teams and uh, really can't wait to <laughs> we can't wait for the weekend to begin um thank you for the thank you for uh, rahul sena for joining us and uh, congratulations to him for his uh, absolutely brilliant 100 and thank you tayf uh, uh, for bringing in your thoughts for with regard to the analysis uh, and there are lot many points that i actually learned from tayf today um but again uh, and also thank you inti and jagan uh, you know, for having me on the show and to the listeners see you all next week and uh, good night tayf First, I'd like to say congratulations to all the team who made to the ter- to the quarter final, quarter final for playoffs, and whoever couldn't make it, no worries, guys. They are always next time. Uh, you'll see next year. But this is 25th year. The team DCL is getting competitive day by day. You'll see like every teams are trying to get a uh, lot of good players in their team, and this is good for DCL. Uh, every every year we'll have some good competitive cricket. This year, like. a lot of teams, like whoever in play three quarter finals every team deserve to be in finals so you never know who can win this uh league it is a very pre- prestigious t-ball league in michigan so we hope all games going to be competitive and all spectators will enjoy those games uh thank you jagan abi and uh, uh mt for having me this this year show uh keep it on guys uh thank you so much thank you jagan Thank you, Taif, for joining uh, in a very short notice. Uh, thanks for ac- accepting my request, and uh, thanks a lot, Rahul Channa, for joining the show. As usual, I am always indebted to Kimti and Abhi and a couple of uh, other uh, guys who are not here, uh, Jesse and KK. Okay, with that, we'll close. Uh, we'll, I'll close tonight's show here, saying good luck to all the playoff teams. Good night.